What is a vibration dampener and should you be using one? Well, a vibration dampener is a small rubber ring or string, or sometimes it's a strip that's designed to take away vibrations from your shot, from the impact of the ball on your strings. If you think about a guitar or a piano, when the strings are being hit or pulled and then released, they start to vibrate and that's where we hear the sound from. Similarly, we hear the sound when we hit our shots and we know exactly whether we've hit the ball in the center or in the sweet spot of our racket or away from the center because the racket will vibrate differently and it will sound differently. When we hit our sweet spot in the center of the racket, the vibrations are distributed evenly throughout the racket head. And that's where a lot of the racket companies, the holy grail is to find a racket or the racket shape uh, that will increase that sweet spot. And therefore we have slightly oblong rackets, we have slightly more circular rackets, uh, and you have a slightly squarer racket, something like a Yonex, and they're all looking to increase that even distribution of vibration throughout the racket. So vibration dampener stops the string from vibrating. Those vibrations that are traveling through the racket at the point of impact, they get dampened through this little rubber ring or strip that you have on. And the smaller the strip, the less the vibrations it's taking in. So something like a ring will be doing that. And if you have a strip that has more contact with more string, it will take away uh, a lot more vibration. And those vibration dampeners are sometimes even inbuilt into the racket. And a lot of the, the companies are now inbuilding these uh, vibration dampening systems into the throat, into the, the racket head, in order to stop those vibrations traveling through the arm, through the racket and into your arm, and hopefully reducing injury. Now the tension that you string your racket will also have a big impact on the vibrations that you feel. The looser you string, the more the strings can move and vibrate. The tighter you string, the less you'll feel the vibrations, but the racket will feel a lot stiffer. It'll be a lot more, you'll feel the impact a lot more in your arm. And the string pattern also plays a big role because a, a, a tighter string pattern, so an 1820, has more intersections, therefore the strings almost stop themselves from vibrating. They're acting as their own vibration dampeners. So uh, a racket that has a tighter stringing pattern uh, will have slightly less vibrations than one that has a slightly looser string pattern. So, you know, a 1619, so 16 mains, 19 crosses, will have more movement or more potential for vibration than a, a racket that's 1820. So 18 uh, uh, mains and 20 crosses. So those strings will have less given them, they will vibrate less, but they will also give you maybe less power because they won't have that trampoline effect on the strings. And they also tend to produce slightly less topspin because uh, when there's less string, that uh, string digs into the ball a little bit more and has more pot potential for topspin. The string that you choose will also have a big impact on vibration. So a polyester string, a monofilament string, tends to vibrate uh, a lot more than a synthetic gut or natural gut string, simply because it's uh, slightly harder, so therefore it vibrates a little bit more, where a slightly softer string has fewer vibrations going through it. Now this video is filmed in David Lloyd Worthing Club, Beautiful courts with a great atmosphere, the perfect location for any tennis player. This part of the video is sponsored by Masterworks. As tennis players, we're always investing in ourselves. Private tennis lessons to improve our shots, expensive gym memberships to improve our fitness. But to keep doing all the things that we love, we must also invest in our future. Masterworks is the only platform that allows you to invest into iconic works of art from artists like Picasso, Banksy, Andy Warhol, and many more. As their works appreciate in value, so can your investment. The Arts and Collectibles Asset Class is valued at $1.7 trillion, with Deloitte estimating it could go up by another 900 billion by the end of 2026. Now you don't need me to tell you that any investment, either big or small, can go both up and down in value. So there are always risks to be aware of. So always do your research first. However, you'll be pleased to know that contemporary art prices have consistently appreciated more than real estate, the stock market, and gold over the last 20 years. So check out Masterworks and start growing your art portfolio today. 
and use our link above, which we'll leave in the description area of the video to skip the waitlist. So why should we worry about taking vibrations away at all? Well, apart from the obvious sound that you hear, so that pinging sound uh, that you hear, it'll be a lot more dampened, so the impact will feel a lot firmer. But also some people believe that it will take away injury because the strings will vibrate, therefore send vibrations into the racket and send vibrations into your arm. So your wrist, your elbow, your shoulder, which has more chances of being injured uh, if it's doing that. So does a vibration lamina actually reduce injuries? Well, some research shows that it doesn't. Me, with my personal experience, I feel that it definitely changes the feel of the racket. So it dampens the feel. And therefore, I'm thinking it does reduce some vibrations traveling through your arm. So if you are injured, it won't magically take away your injury. It won't suddenly heal your arm, but it may have a slight impact on the way uh, that the ball feels on the strings. And therefore, it might have a slight impact on your injury. So the older I got, I started using one just in case. So of course it's up to you, it's a personal preference, how you feel on those shots. Some people prefer having more feeling as you're hitting the shot because those vibrations are what allows you to judge whether you've hit the ball in the center of the strings, it allows you to judge how much power you've hit on the ball, and it allows you to feel the ball on the strings a little bit more. Some players prefer more dead feel, a more dampened feel, and those players are the ones that are gonna use the vibration damn. Now you may also want to use a vibration dampener if for example you just got your racket restrung and you feel like the strings are very loose and that you feel the vibrations a lot more. So by putting a vibration dampener it'll actually make your racket feel like it's a lot tighter as if it's strung a lot tighter than it is. So where should you place your vibration dampener? Well rules state that you, the vibration dampener has to be outside of the last string of your string bed. So it can either go at the top, there's not that much space at the top, it can go at the bottom where usually people place their vibration dampeners and of course if you start placing them on the sides uh, as well it may dis uh, disturb the way your racket feels and your weight distribution of the racket. So usually people put the uh, vibration dampener at the bottom. So are you one of the players that uses a vibration dampener? Do you feel any benefits? If so, let me know under the video in the comment section. Of course, press the like button to support the channel and press that subscribe button with a notification bell so you don't miss out on any future lessons from us. Signing off, see you soon.